guys i'd be so scared yo my heart would start beating my heart this side yeah it is <laughs> are you telling me uh guys why are you commenting things that don't correspond with the question that i asked oh, you are slow learner <laughs> <laughs> fucking idiot <laughs> Be nice, but like, don't hurt their feelings. You argued, you argued with your mom, and she said, "At least I know who my father is." Happened to me. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bells swing and jingle bells ring. Snowing and blowing, a bushel of fun. Now the jingle hop, the hop has begun. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, hello. I'm Miss Pogas and I'm back with another video. Hi Joy. Hi Bessie. Welcome back to my channel. As you see, my today we're going to be doing a what would Spogas do, which is another sit down video because you guys seem to like my sit down videos quite a bit. But yeah, guys, I posted a poll on Instagram. I think yesterday, and I asked you guys. Um, what would I do? So please give me scenarios and I got quite a bit scenarios I think there's like 20 and I feel like that's enough for this video because I don't want this video to be dragged in too long But before we get into the video, please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and Without any further ado Let's get straight into it. But yeah guys, I asked you guys on Instagram. I posted a story and you guys did not disappoint You never disappoint super but yeah guys, basically how this video is going to work is I just asked you guys to give me scenarios So example, if someone's going to say What would you do if you are trapped in an island? And then I have to give my opinion of what I would do That's basically what would I do, you know So yeah guys I have about I have quite a few Um, I didn't read this one I didn't read these responses before Because I knew that if I read them I wouldn't have the same reaction, you know I'm reading Iron Brew. Haven't had it in a while. It's slaps, eh? But yeah. Our first scenario is what would Spurs do if she had to pick between her partner and her best friend? Ish. Guys. That's a tough decision. <laughs> I don't think you ever have to make the decision. Well, it depends. If my best friend came before my partner, I'm most definitely picking my best friend because my best friend has been there longer have, has been there for me longer than the partner has you know because I don't know honestly I legit don't know who I would pick my partner best friend you but I feel like I'd pick my best friend because my best friend is my best friend come on now a partner -ish. partners come and go I guess but guys, I don't know. I feel like I pick my best friend though. I'd pick I'd pick my best friend. Regardless of the relationship with the partner. I just I'd pick my best friend. So yeah. What did you do if you snuck out and then your mom starts calling you? Ooh. Ooh cha. Jump scare. Guys, I'd be so scared. Yo, my heart would start beating. My heart this side. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Boy, if you don't get <laughs> my heart, it's start beating, yo, guys. But I feel like if you ignore her calls, then that's sketchy because you'd know that you're in the house. But if you answer the call and she hears groove music, yo, so both both ways could backfire. But I feel like I'd answer so I can at least let her know that I'm safe wherever I am. Next thing she says, Yeah, sleep wherever you are, yo, because. If I don't answer, what if next thing I see a whole mob of cops? Because she might have the location or something. Next thing there's cops pulling up. Now they're embarrassed. I'd rather answer the phone and say, Hey, Mama, I snuck out because I wanted to go do this and that. And this and that. And then, she, I know for a fact that she won't come searching for you if you don't tell her your location. Like, if she asks where you are, just say, No, Mama, I'm fine. I'm coming back now in five minutes. And you come back in like two hours. Stay toxic. But yeah, guys, I feel like... I'm, I, what? But yeah, guys, I feel like I'd answer the call because it's the best option than ignoring her. Because if you ignore her and you come back to the house, you're dead. 
you are dead. You are dead. Someone said, stay up the whole night when you're watching a series. I would. Especially on a school night. Like, have you noticed that when you have to do school things, everything else just needs your attention? Like, it just needs your attention? But when you don't have school to do, nothing needs your attention. That's what I feel like I would. Uh, stay up all night binging, but watching a series? I definitely would. That's that's giving my vibe. Be that one girl who's, who trips over A in those scary movies. Guys, I'm clumsy there, but like, ship over A. You guys don't read me. <laughs> you guys don't read me. I mean, it's like me to trip over A, but like, I feel like I would though. I definitely would. But at least I can walk in a straight line. You know those friends who always walk like, or they walk like, like bro, just walk straight. But I feel like I would trip over A in a movie. I would be that girl. Be the first to laugh in a serious situation. That's definitely me. I can never be serious, guys. You could legit come at me and be like, hey, I got hit by a car. And I'll start laughing at you. I feel like I would. Laugh in a serious situation, I definitely would. If you could come at me and be like, hey, I um, I got hit by a car. I got bumped by a car. I'm like, I sprayed, I hurt my leg. No, I'd laugh at you. Because, I don't know. I don't know. Um, let's say you aren't allowed to date and your parents find out you're in a relationship. What would you do? Hmm. I feel like what can what what can your parents do if like you find out you're in a relationship? Let's like, say you break up with them. Me personally, I'd just be like, okay, mama, you find out I'm in a relationship. Now what? Now what? You find out. But what's supposed to happen now? Like, what's supposed to happen? You found out that I'm in a relationship. Guys, I don't know what to respond. What would I do in that situation? I'd just be like, okay, I'm kidding when you didn't want me to date, so I dated behind your back. And, yeah. I feel like I'd just say that. With, oh, yeah. I'm in a relationship, and I'm not going to break up with my partner because I love my partner. And, yeah, I feel like I'd say that. Mm -hmm. If she found out that I'm in a relationship or something like that, because this question says that, I'd just tell them good to you, okay? Um in a relationship now. What now? What now? Because I'm not gonna leave my partner. For what? For what? So you see, I'd just tell her but okay, you found out. I'm sorry I didn't tell you. I sorry I kept things from you because you're too strict, but it is what it is. Do a piercing or fake tattoo. Do a piercing. Fake tattoo. I feel like a fake tattoo is also nice because it's not permanent, you know. But I feel like I'd rather get a piercing. Piercings are cool. I'd rather get. I also want a smiley piercing, guys. I want a smiley, but people's smileys fall out. But I feel like I'd rather get a piercing than a fake tattoo. Not a scenario, but how did you let your parents allow you to be a teen? Like go out, date, make mistakes, etc. Um. You don't get your parents to allow you, but like, I feel like you should just tell them, Muguti, you want to be like every other teenager. You want to make mistakes and learn from them. I don't know. I've never had that conversation with my mom. <laughs> I've literally never had that conversation with her. Okay, look, I want to date. I want to go out and learn from my own mistakes. I've never done that. Because I feel like they did all of this when they were in their teenagers. Now, why can't we do it, you know? So I feel like I just tell my mom, Hori, okay. Mama, I want to be able to make my own decisions. Okay, not like as in, don't be too submissive though. Like, not submissive. Girl, isn't he? <laughs> don't be too demanding. That's what I was looking for. Don't be too demanding. I feel like just tell them, Muguti, okay, a lot of my peers are doing this and that, and I feel like you're too strict. I feel like I'm just trapped in this box. Tell them that you're going to keep on doing things behind, behind their back that they don't like. And that's just going not to make, that's not going to make a situation better. So I feel like just compromise with them. Compromise. Yeah, don't just demand things. Compromise. Because no parent would like it if their child keeps on doing things behind their back. Ubizi was told now. You're breaking rules. And you don't listen to them. So rather be open to them with everything. Tell them whatever happens in your life. And they'll be more lenient in a way. Yeah, they'll be more lenient. Some people do things until the parents just are like, okay. Like some people, they actually start dating, 
they start drinking, they start going out, they sneak out to the point where their parents are like, you know, so don't be that guy, don't just break rules, just tell them, compromise, it's okay mama, can I do this, but I promise that I won't do that, like let's say they have a rule of, you can date, but you can't have them in your room alone, that's a win already, even though that, you can talk to her about that in the future, but as long as you have that, right, so compromise with your parents, have that conversation of selling them a good tea, this and that, so that's what I would do. I if your friend is being cheated on and you know it, what would I do? I'd tell my friend, but it depends. It depends if my friend would tell me. If I was being cheated on and she knew it and she didn't tell me, and she wouldn't tell me, I also wouldn't tell her. I'd watch her get played. Guys, I'm sorry, I'm all for revenge. I'd watch her get played because why should I tell you if you won't tell me, you know? But I feel like if it's just like my friend and She's never been in that situation. I tell her, "Hey, you're being cheated on." If she chooses not to, to to listen to me, back away. That's all her now. And Kitty and she doesn't listen to. She thinks you're lying. Excuse me. She thinks you're trying to ruin her relationship and all of that. So I will just step back. I told you, I would tell my friend that tell her, "Hey, dog, your partner's. I saw your partner doing this and that with this and that person." And they're like, "No, you're lying. He's trustworthy. She's trustworthy." I back away. I tried. I back away. So I tell them, what would you do if you were kidnapped in a city you don't know and you had a chance to escape? Where would you go? Ooh. If I was kidnapped in a city I don't know and I had a chance to escape, where would I go? I feel like a police station is not the best option all the time. Let's see the South African police station. South African police, they need to do better. They need to do better. I feel like I'd go to like that. You see those cell phone things? I don't know if they're still around though. Those telephone things that you just take the phone and you call. I feel like I'd go to that. Or I'd go to the nearest person, ask for a phone and call my mom or someone I know would answer regardless. I'd go to like the nearest person and call. Or like the nearest house. Walk in there. They definitely help you. If they don't help you then what's wrong with our country? But I feel like I'd find the nearest phone. And call people and call someone. I don't like my mom's other child, Nitinio. <laughs> and then I know who said this. I know who said this. Can you guys get a wild guess who sent this? I don't like my mom's other child, Nitinio. It's my sister. She legit commented this comment. Like, you don't like her. You have to learn to like her. You have to learn to like her. You don't have a choice. You don't have a choice. She's here and she's here to stay. Thank you. Okay. How's the influencer's life coming along and or how I started? How's the influencer life coming along or how I started to become an, an influencer slash YouTuber? What do you mean, Manje? This video is a what would I do? And you're telling me how I started to be. I'm confused. I said, what would I do? And you said, how's the influencer life coming along? Okay, I'm gonna answer your question since it's already here, even though it's not correlating to the video, but it's fine. Influencer life is okay. It's not bad. It's fun, sure. But sometimes you're just like so exhausted and you still need to post because consistency. But yeah, it's good. Collab with another YouTuber or YouTube group. Are you telling me? Uh, Guys, why are you commenting things that don't correspond with the question that I asked on my story? Stupid, you are very, very hungry. <laughs> <Stop it. laughs> you are slow learner. <laughs> you are slow learner. <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> but I feel like collaborations are unnecessary. I mean, they are necessary so that you can get like a better audience. But it depends on the person. If you want to collab, just DM me in video. Literally, why have never? But I haven't thought about collaborations. Isn't like I wanna collab. Like now, I wanna. It's it's a thing that if it comes, if opportunity comes, it comes. If it doesn't come, it doesn't come. So yeah, what would you do if you blow up overnight? Oh, I'd be so happy. Like imagine I post a video and then I go to sleep and I wake up the next morning has like ten k views. Oh. 
I'd be happy. I would be over the moon. I would be over the moon. What would Plaza do if you went to your friend's house and it, and it was dirty in a disgusting way? Clothes on the floor, shower dirty, plates dirty, etc. I feel like I'd be traumatized. Imagine I go to your house and then your bed sheets are just not make sure. Your floor, there's ants and food crumbs on the floor. The dishes are dirty. Your clothes are all over your room. I'd come up with an excuse and be like, oh, my mom said we have to go to this emergency thing. This family emergency. I'll come back next time. Be nice, but like, don't hurt their feelings. You know? But I feel like I'd want to tell them though. Like, I want to be like, hey, I'd want to tell my friend, hurry. This is not nice. But I don't think I have the guts to do that. Imagine I come to your house, your house, number one. I come to your house and I come and tell you, Holy, hey, your house is dirty. If you can't see for yourself, if you see your environment is okay, then I, that, that's all you. But I feel like I can make an excuse to go home because, mm -mm. what would you do if you're high and then you have to go home afterwards? You, 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 you. Mm. Like it's a scenario where you go to your friend's house, you guys get high, then you have to go home. Hmm. No, for a fact that my mom will notice that I'm high. I know that for a fact, my mom would definitely notice that I'm high. Definitely, because first of all, my eyes would be red. Secondly, why wouldn't you notice that your, that your child is high? Like when you're high, you talk rubbish. So my, I don't. I feel like I wouldn't. And I have to go home either way, like one way or another, I'll have to go home at the end of the day. I feel like I just go to my room and sleep. And then once I wake up and I'm like, fine, then I'd carry on like nothing happened. But then if she raises up the topic, Ishman, I don't know. I don't know. Not a question, but I love you so much. You seem like a good person. I love you too. Um, I am a good person, you guys. I am a good person. I feel like when I first meet you, I'm a good, I like, I'm a, I'm very nice. But then once I get used to you and you're like my friend now, there's no need, there's no need to be nice now. Me and you are like, you know, ask people, ask my friends. Why do we like, there's no need for me to be nice to you. No. Why? That's weird. But I am a good person because I am a nice person. You first meet me and all of that when you first meet me definitely a nice person definitely not definitely a nice person you argued you argued with your mom and she said at least i know who my father is happened to me now you <laughs> That's deep. That's deep. Whoever this, who, yeah, you who commented this, I hope you're fine, hey? Like, I hope you're fine, cause. What would I do? Oh, no, I'd be. My anger issues could never let me just. Uh, my anger issues would never let me just let that slide. Like, I feel like I'd retaliate in a way. Like, I'd say something. Back with people to see it as disrespectful, even though you said that to me. What the hell? But it's I'd retaliate. I'd do something back. I don't know what I'd do because it's never happened to me. But like, I'd do something back. If a fan from YouTube came up to you asking for a picture, what would I do? I'd give them a picture. It's not that deep, guys. If a fan came to me and asked for a picture, I'd take a picture. Come on now. First, I'd feel like a celebrity. I'd be like, someone wants a picture with me. Oh, 
my gosh. But yeah, I, I just, I, we take a picture. We take a picture. I'd be so happy. You see, that, that that would be the day I know I made it. If someone recognized me from YouTube and asked for a picture, yo, I'll know how I made it. I'll know how I made it. I'll know. But yeah, I'll take a picture. If you see me in public, come, come, come. Come take a picture. Even though I'm not even famous yet, guys. So I don't expect to be asked for pictures anytime soon. What would you do if you were kidnapped by Neymar? Oh! 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 Time is playing tomorrow, guys. We're the ninth. It's playing tomorrow, so. But yeah, if I was kidnapped by name of me, me and me, I wouldn't go home. Eh? <laughs> I would, I'd be, I'd go lives of life. Kidnapped by name, huh? First of all, the fact that Neymar wants to kidnap you is already an achievement. It's already an achievement. So me personally, I'd be like, I don't take me back home. I, I, I'm fine. I'm good. I go lives of life. So me, I tell him, Hore. Go back home. No. 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 But yeah, guys, that is all for today's video. If you guys did enjoy this video, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on those post notifications so that you're notified. So that you're notified every time I post a new video. It's been lovely. I will have to love and leave you guys now, and I will see you in the next. Vlogmas video. Peace.